it was great to be back at the Honda Proving Grounds. It was great to be back in person, great to be back in the 100 plus degree weather. It felt like a real of the year. We had 23 nameplates, over 35 vehicles. Because of COVID and the pandemic, a lot of manufacturers had issues bringing their latest vehicles to us. SUV of the year is kind of like an endurance test. We're up early every morning, we're shooting right up until sunset every night, grabbing a bite to eat and hitting the pillows. Honda's Proving Grounds is an invaluable resource for us to use. We're taking them on high-speed ovals, a winding track, uneven surfaces. We're taking them through the sand and all of the other obstacles of the off-road course. So this year's field at SUV of the Year was a diverse one. We ran everything from hardcore off-roaders to very soft road vehicles. Uh, we had electric cars, and then there were mainstream three-row models. The whole field was really well covered by these types of vehicles. SUV of the year is now evolving into an interesting philosophical debate because we do have these tried and true iconic SUVs that we continue to have in the field. But we've got all these EVs coming in as well. And that was really raising the question of which is the better way to go? Where is the market going? And so it's just really interesting to debate how much credence do you give to these legendary traditional body on frame SUVs compared to the newcomers? We judge everything against the criteria, always. We're never judging these vehicles against each other. Advancement in design, engineering excellence, performance of intended function, value, safety, and efficiency. The finalists, we had Jeep Grand Wagoneer, Jeep Grand Cherokee L, all three of those Fords, Mach-E, Bronco Sport, and Bronco, GV70, Jeep Wrangler, and the Volkswagen ID4, and the Kia Sorento. Six of the nine contenders are nameplates that never even existed before. That's mind-blowing. And so, like, we really are in new territory. We don't have any preconceived notions about these vehicles coming into this final lap. We've got curves, we've got highway, I mean, you name it. We try to, in the course of this week, put these cars through every possible pace that any consumer would ever, probably in the lifetime of owning the vehicle, put it through. Although the winner wasn't a unanimous choice, it was a definitive choice. And the 2022 Motor Trend SUV of the Year winner is the Genesis GV70. That sounds definitive. Definitive. From the moment you got into the GV70, you knew that you were in a special car. And once you took it on the road, the drive was sublime. A huge congratulations to the GV70. The Genesis GV70 impressed all the judges the most in engineering excellence, uh, advancement of design, and performance of intended function. In terms of advancement in design, the GV70 is a really beautiful, sexy little SUV. It doesn't look like a traditional SUV, but it's elegant and you're really sold when you get inside. And that's where you see the wonderful choice of materials, the colors, the oval theme that's repeated throughout, and an attention to detail that rivals the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Engineering excellence, I mean, you just feel it in the way the car drives. Genesis nailed ride quality, but kept it firm and purposeful, and it feels like a big sports sedan, not a lifted luxury hatchback, which it is. Performance of intended function is how well it does its job. And when you look at it and when you drive it, it over delivers against the competition. You know, there's a, a full experience evolving around the occupants that is just, you know, you don't see in the segment at all. In terms of value, especially our Genesis GV70 3.5T delivers all of the performance and handling of an Alfa Romeo Stelvio at about $20,000 less price, at least. I'll say efficiency is not its strongest point, but again, when you look at the segment, especially the V6 twin turbo, that's supposed to be all these mid-performance variants in the segment. So when you are adding that level of performance, you're obviously going to be sacrificing fuel economy. It's not the, the lowest in the segment, it's also not the highest in the segment.
When it comes to safety, the GV70 is extremely well equipped and the systems that it has work extremely well. And so no one is ever going to be shortchanged when it comes to safety on the GV70. It over delivered. For Genesis to deliver a compact SUV, the first compact luxury SUV, and do a job like that with the GV70, it's impressive. You feel a level of polish and excellence in, in that first 20 feet that I don't think you can win SUV of the year without. My respects to Genesis, to their engineers, to their uh, designers, to their product planners, because they really delivered an excellent vehicle with the GV70. So that's the Genesis GV70, which is our 2022 SUV of the year. This is a out of the park hit for Genesis. It's a newcomer in the segment. It's a tremendous and surprising first foray, and it is overwhelmingly our pick to be the top of the heap this year.